Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. I decided to take a shower like first thing this morning to kind of help wake me up and put me in a better mood. So definitely good tip if you wake up feeling in a blah mood because of everything that's going on and you just like don't have energy and you want to stay in bed, just take a shower, I swear. It always wakes me up and makes me feel like I'm like ready for the day. So I made some coffee and I immediately put my makeup on. Still wearing pretty comfortable clothes today because I'm not going anywhere obviously so I just didn't really feel like getting dressed. So you guys have seen me wearing this so much. It's this oversized tie-dye sweatshirt from Urban Outfitters. It's so comfortable. And I'm just wearing some leggings that are from Aerie and my new slippers that I showed you guys in my last vlog. And I'll link this. Honestly, it's just a comfortable outfit. I'm just gonna be working on schoolwork today. And I get the diffuser going because this always sets the mood for getting some work done. Here's my favorite scent, this Santal by Aroma. It's so peaceful and relaxing. I'm working on a vlog that's gonna go up probably later today and in this vlog I showed you guys how to make tortilla pizzas which was so much fun making and they're actually really good and really easy to make so maybe some of you guys will try this by the way this was going to be the vlog that I finally did the office tour that you guys have been asking about so much but then I realized there is one minor thing that I am still working on before I do it I have this little three-tiered like cart thing um, actually I'll just show it to you guys I really need to do a closet clean out so please just disregard all of the random crap that's thrown on it but it's like a three-tiered cart thing um, that I want to put out here to organize some stuff like next to my desk but it's blue and I want it to be white so Chad and I got some spray paint and we're gonna do a little project and spray paint it and then once it's spray painted my goal is to put it next to my desk but in the midst of all that, I'm thinking about rearranging a couple of things. I kind of want to put my full length mirror next to the window because it'll have like better lighting that way. And then I want to move like my vanity section that's over here, possibly next to my desk and in between like that and the little cart thing. And Chad's probably going to kill me because I always come up with these like random ideas and then I'm like, I have to rearrange everything like now. So we'll see. I'm kind of trying to think if I want to do that or not because... Like my vanity mirror is already like mounted into the wall so another reason chad's gonna kill me because he'll have to patch and paint that again if i decide to move it maybe i should just leave everything where it's at and stop trying to change things but i figure now's the time if i'm gonna add something else to the room like before i do the office tour i should just like do that and if you guys haven't noticed i am wearing contacts today which is always a real challenge for me um if you've been following me on my channel for a while you guys know that like i want to say like maybe two months ago contacts were what i wore every single day the only time you would really see me in glasses is like in the evening after i already took my makeup off then i would like take my contacts out but now i pretty much wear glasses every single day because i've had such an issue with my eyes um it started out a few months ago where i had to be put on prescription eye drops because they said that i had like some kind of a um, inflammation going on in my eyes like little bumps um, which is basically caused from an allergic reaction from contact overuse but I've been wearing contacts since I was like 16 so we're talking like a really long time so it's crazy to me that now my eyes give me so much trouble and Chad goes through the exact same thing so like we both just have really bad eyes and so now whenever I wear contacts I use like daily contact lenses but they're like uncomfortable to be honest with you so I only like to wear them if I know I'm going to be working out that day which I was going to today but I don't know if I'm going to now because cramps are really bad today but yeah it's been really really upsetting just not being able to wear contacts I know to some people it's probably like wow there are people dying and that can't see at all and you're complaining because you have to wear glasses but I've just gone like my whole life wearing contacts and now like not really having the option to or when I do they're so uncomfortable like I'll probably be able to wear them for a few hours and then I just can't take it anymore I have to take them out uh it's just frustrating so I think when all of this is over I'm probably gonna do some research on uh, look into LASIK which is crazy and very scary but uh definitely something I want to look into because I just miss being able to see. I'm about to do something very exciting and make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich thought this would be something fun to spice up the vlog. <laughs> <laughs> well, edit that out. Step one, get yourself some bread and peanut butter and jelly. Step two, a knife and only one knife because if you use more than one, your boyfriend will tell you that you're using too many knives because you could just clean it after you get the peanut butter. <laughs> True. Would you make me a sandwich? You want a sandwich? Okay. I would love one. 
and make your boyfriend a sandwich too if he wants one. Bread, I never take from the beginning of the loaf. I'll take the beginning. And Chad always gets mad at me. He's like, why don't you do that? I'm like, because I want the fresher piece that's like down here. <laughs> but okay, I'll give you the beginning one. I just want it to be softer, you know? Like, yeah. who can relate? It feels like someone is cutting up my insides. Peanut butter. Don't ever skimp on the peanut butter. That's the most important part. And you have to bring it all the way to the edge. Yourself some jelly. Okay, this one is for Chad, so we won't cut it. <laughs> this one is for me, so we will cut it into fours because that's how I like my sandwiches. <laughs> this right here is a true delicacy. I'm making a little iced coffee before I get started on my chem study guide. I'm just gonna keep working on that until I feel good about it. I'm using my medium roast iced coffee from Starbucks. This is unsweetened, and then I'm just gonna put some oat milk in there. I'm not adding any extra sugar. Okay, I completely get why everybody loves this oat milk. It tastes so good. It's very light and it doesn't have like a strong taste like almond milk. I know some people can't get past the almond flavor, but I'm just so used to it now. But I really do like switching it up with this. I am gonna add a little bit of sugar-free French vanilla just to give it a little bit of flavor because I like my coffees to have like that vanilla taste. I got a little package in the mail and I told you guys that I was gonna order some more of those tanning towels, but I couldn't get like the ones that I got before because those were by a brand that no longer exists now at Ulta. So I got the actual tan towel brand and these are in the half body tan, medium to dark skin tones. Comes with 10 towels and this is like half body so I'll need two to do my full body. Um, very similar concept to those hot bronze ones but I'll let you guys know how these are. I'm hoping they're gonna be a little darker because the hot bronze ones aren't super dark, but either way, the hot bronze ones like gave me a really good like natural looking tan. I just like kind of wanna step it up a notch. And then I also grabbed one of these coconut body butters and this is just like the mini one because I had one of these a long time ago and I remember it smelled really good. I need a lotion to like constantly rub on my body while I'm tan so that way I can extend the life of my tan. Like you have to keep your skin really moisturized and this just smells like the beach. So it's perfect because when I'm tan, like I wanna smell like coconuts. I still have like two more of the hot bronze ones. So I'll probably use those first before I try these out. But whatever I do, I'll let you guys know what I think of that brand. I'm sure it's gonna be better. That's like the brand that like invented the tanning towels. So here's my little to-do list. I have all of chapter 10's chemistry online homework and then I have the chapter 10 quiz and then I just need to continue working on my study guide, which I've been working on a lot the last like three days. So feeling pretty good about that. Also, I always get questions about where my acrylic monitor stand is. I love this. It allows me to tuck my keyboard under here so that way when I like have like something on my desk, the keyboard doesn't get in the way. And it's from Amazon. I'll link the exact one that I have below. I like this one because it is thick and rounded. I saw some other ones on there. They're like squared and they're really thin and it like caves in in the middle. This one is so good. And I just love the way that it looks like on my desk. It's a little while later, I've been doing chemistry for literally hours and um, I'm really glad that I'm taking a break from that to cook dinner. Chad and I are making pasta tonight and I'm actually doing a good sauce, not just like, I don't know. Sometimes when I'm on my own and Chad's on shift, I usually just use like a can of sauce, but tonight I'm actually sauteing onion, garlic, and I'm doing like tomato paste. I'm making my own little sauce and then we're using protein angel hair pasta. Here's the pasta and then we're also gonna make some breadsticks. I'm just sauteing the onion right now. And then I just used a little bit of this avocado oil from Whole Foods. I just added in the garlic and I'm cooking the ground beef over here. And then I'm gonna drain that and then add the garlic and onions over to this and then we'll get the sauce going. Okay. I now have the noodles cooking and I mixed the sauce and the tomato paste in with everything. So here's what the sauce looks like. 
favorite breadsticks have like five minutes and these breadsticks are the best they're by new york bakery and they are amazing they only take like five minutes to cook and they taste exactly like olive garden breadsticks so definitely try these if you guys like garlic bread or breadsticks or whatever whenever you eat pasta and voila here is my meal this is chad's this is mine best breadsticks in the world we got some parmesan cheese the only thing that would make this better is if i would have remembered to get a block of parmesan so that i could do freshly grated parmesan but that's okay and some white wine for me some red wine for chad let's eat so it's a little bit later and i'm actually about to do my mastering chemistry quiz and that's pretty much all that i have to do tonight so hopefully i'll get to play some animal crossing i'm about to have a little treat and i thought i would show you guys i'm having a reese's peanut butter egg i love these they're probably like one of my favorite easter candies after peeps peeps are my all-time favorite so i finished my chemistry quiz and i feel really good about it i'm pretty sure i got a 100 and now i'm about to do a little face mask i changed into my super cozy robe okay so i found this face mask kit on amazon like months ago and i've just not done a face mask in a while i've had it underneath the sink in my bathroom for so long and finally decided today was the day we're gonna open this thing up um, I will try to link this for you guys. So I have face mask brushes, which are super cool. So you don't have to use your fingers while you're like spreading it on. Comes with a little spray bottle. We've got this little brush. A little mitt sponge thing. I feel like you could totally use this as like a canning mitt. I mean, not like a literal mitt, but like to spread your can little spatula thing so this would also be really good for like spreading a mask and then i thought it was really cute it comes with a, this little bowl and this so if you create it you like your own mask with like some coconut oil or like a little scrub you can put it in here it comes with these adorable little measuring spoons i feel like this is from like a little barbie kit or something it's so cute and then the little bowl which i think is awesome so if you were doing some kind of a face mask and you just wanted to pour it in the bowl and then use like this or one of the face mask brushes to just like put it on your face so today's the day we are going to use this. I'm gonna take my glasses off so I can obviously take my makeup off and I'm not gonna be able to see anything, but oh well. Okay, I think I got most of it off. I'm not gonna go crazy just because I'm gonna wash my face after I take the mask off anyway. So I'm gonna be using this clay peel off mask and I'm very excited because I've seen people peel this off and it's one of those masks that comes off like in huge chunks. Like it looks like you're peeling your skin off. So very excited. First hand impression here, so I'll show you guys. I'm actually gonna go wet my face really quick just a little bit because I feel like it will apply better that way. Okay, I wet my face, so now I'm just opening up this. Oh God, my hair. The face mask brush is the greatest invention ever. It just makes it feel so luxurious. It's very smooth and it just like glides on your face and I don't have to like get my fingers all gross and get the face mask like stuck in my nails. Definitely recommend the face mask brush, which I'm pretty sure you can get without like the whole set like I got. I just wanted to get the whole set because I wanted to get that little bowl that it comes with so that I can create my own little mask. Sometimes I like to do these like little experiments where I just like mix things together and put them on my face <laughs> and see how it feels mostly just like coconut oil and stuff like that but you know it'll be nice to have a little bowl for it okay i have the mask all the way on it's still wet so i know like once it hardens i'm probably not going to even be able to talk but i'll let you guys know how it goes i have to leave it on for like 20 minutes i love a good clay mask honestly my favorite clay mask is the clinique mask but i have not experimented with a whole lot of peel off masks so i'm really excited to see how this works when i peel it off and i'll show you guys i'm back and i literally can't move my face like i'm like stuck like this it's very tight okay let's see if i can peel this off i don't i don't know how this is gonna oh my gosh Guys, it's working. Look. This is so weird. This is gross. This is really gross. I mean, like, I love it. It feels good. But, like, it's gross to watch, I feel like. <laughs> I can't even smile. <laughs> I literally can't.
that like my face is stuck. <laughs> Look at this. What the heck? Okay, I'm gonna peel this off. I gotta get a clip for my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back when I get it all the way off. Okay, I am not exaggerating when I tell you that face mask has literally changed my life. My skin is so soft. It felt like I actually did like remove a layer of skin and underneath was just like a fresh new layer. I put some moisturizer on and it just feels so good. Good morning guys. It is the next day and I just made myself a huge iced coffee. Look at the size of this iced coffee and it's so good. It's that unsweetened Starbucks medium roast iced coffee and then I just put my regular half and half in it and a little splash of the hazelnut cream and it's so good. It's only a little bit sweetened just from that little bit of hazelnut creamer and um, I just love it. It's amazing. I just decided I needed a giant coffee today because today is exam day and uh, this is that giant chemistry exam. It's my last chem exam before the final. You know, it's important because I have a really good grade in there right now. I have an A and I wanna keep my A, so I need to do good on this exam. I feel like I've done enough preparing, but I always freak out before an exam. So fingers crossed that I do okay. This is the book I was reading last night. I actually shared this on a vlog already and now I got a good way through it last night. And so far it's very sad. Like I literally cried last night. I don't know if I was just emotional because I'm on my period or if it was actually that sad, but I literally cried because the beginning of this book is sad. So I'm just hoping it gets better. I know it will, um, but I'm really enjoying it so far. So I just finished my chem exam and that was hard. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. And you know what the hard part was? It wasn't that I wasn't really ready for it. It's about the fact that now that we're not taking exams on paper and we didn't get any extra time than like we would normally get for an exam, I had to literally write down everything on a piece of paper, like write out the problems from the computer screen on a piece of paper, solve them, and then type in like showing my work. So type out the chemical equations. And that took so much time for these problems that I literally ran out of time. That's kind of stressful, but I'm just really glad that it's over. So I am finished working on chemistry stuff for the lecture side of things. Still have to work on my formal lab report later today, but I am gonna give myself a good break because I spent my entire morning just kind of preparing for that. I'm just gonna make a little egg sandwich with one of these English muffins, a piece of cheese, and a fried egg. Here is my little egg sandwich, and now I'm gonna go work on my formal lab report. I just don't wanna put it off until later because I would love to have a relaxing night tonight. Like if I just get it done now, then tonight, since it's Friday, I can play Animal Crossing and have a drink, just have a leisurely night, which sounds so good. I don't know what happened yesterday. Like honestly, nothing happened. That's why I didn't vlog. Um, I just had a really relaxing day and I didn't work on my short report. So now I have to work on the entire thing today. Love when I do that for myself and have absolutely no excuse. Honestly, just after taking that chem exam, I didn't feel like doing anything and I feel like, you know, it was an accomplishment just finally getting that weight off my chest. So I didn't want to go right into another big assignment, but I'm going to work on it today. So it's actually 7.30 a.m. I woke up super early and already like cleaned. I got my laundry going, did all the dishes, started the dishwasher. I'm about to make my coffee. I'm going to disinfect everything. I've been trying to do that regularly, just like with a Lysol wipe, go around all of the countertops and then obviously like door handles and stuff like that and then I'm gonna get started with my short report right away because I do not want my entire day consumed with this project I really want to enjoy today so I've just been using this caribou coffee and I like it, it honestly just tastes like Miranda blend um, like from Starbucks and I've been making this little concoction for like my creamer and I'm still using the same things like the half and half and hazelnut but I've been frothing it up so that way it's like really foamy on top and whenever I do like a blonde roast like the veranda blend or even this one I typically don't add any sugar to it obviously this is a little bit sweet but I don't add any like extra raw sugars I only do that when it's like a darker roast I'm gonna hold back some of the foam at first and then scoop the really foamy part on top. It tastes like hazelnut whipped cream or something on top. Someone had asked me if I was still taking out the Lululemon and the Gymshark stuff so that way I'm not like drying it with the rest and I still do as long as I remember to because it's not good to dry them, but I still haven't purchased a drying rack. So I'm finding myself having to constantly 
just like hang them in random places in my house. I'm making a big bowl of oatmeal this morning and I used the oat milk instead of the almond milk. I'm excited to see how that will taste. So far, to be honest with you guys, like in my coffee and stuff, I prefer my almond milk still over the oat milk. Um, but I think it will be really good in oatmeal because it's oat milk. Oat milk with the oatmeal is so good. It actually tastes like really creamy. I would say that with oatmeal, I probably prefer the oat milk, but I'm probably not gonna buy oat milk just for my oatmeal. <laughs> Anyways, I'm about to just start reading over the requirements for this formal lab report, and then I need to go back and uh, it looks like he's making the lab report due on a lab that we actually did in class before the whole coronavirus, which is really nice because I'm going to have more data and remember that lab a lot better because we actually did it. So I got to dig my lab notebook out and go ahead and read through that and then I guess I will get started. I'm really scared about this. I'm just scared that it's going to take me all day and I don't want to be doing this all day. Look how cute and peaceful they are in the morning. <laughs> Chad got home from work and said that he's going to help me spray paint this white today, so I have to tackle the task of clearing this entire thing out, and I'm so embarrassed that I let my closet get like this. Okay, so I managed to clear it off, so the next time you guys see this, it will be white. I've been sitting here working on this lab report for hours, but I'm super proud of myself it's really coming along, so I got the entire abstract done. The materials and methods section I still need to work on a little bit because I happen to have the short report from this done from earlier when we did this lab experiment, like before everything went crazy. I didn't get the full points on like the materials and methods section, so I definitely want to edit that but I did get full points on the discussion questions so I'm utilizing that for my formal lab report and so yeah here's the discussion section and I'm just importing pictures of my work so I do still have to do the results section but luckily I have all of the results done like right in my lab notebook so I'm basically just going to be transferring this to my iPad by writing it all in my iPad and then uploading it in images and then I have to talk about the results. So we spray painted the first side and then we waited a little bit for it to dry and just flipped everything over. So now he's about to spray the other side. So satisfying to watch. It is lunchtime and I'm having another peanut butter and jelly sandwich and a yogurt. later but I am back to working on this and I finished transferring everything onto my iPad and then I just took like small screenshots using the lasso tool and embedded it into my lab report so it looks really really good and organized this just shows all of my work so these are just sample calculations for the first trial because luckily we only have to share for the first trial and the last thing I have to do honestly is just calculate the standard deviation using everything else and I'm done. Tonight is our one night of the week where we're trying to support local businesses. So we ordered ramen and I am so excited. This is the chicken one. I got the veggie one. So it's just a veggie ramen bowl. And then we do the spicy ramen. So it looks like because we got it to go, they like package it separately, the broth. So we can pour it in, which I think is nice because they're yeah. not making it like super um, soggy or anything. Right. You can go ahead and pour yours in. Yeah, go ahead. I'm so excited. Some tasty looking ramen. Tell me when. Looks good. Mm. 
Guys, I finished my lab report and it feels amazing. So I'm just really glad that I got that done. Except I went to go turn it in and he has us turn it in on turn it in, you know, where you have to like upload your uh, submission so they can like check for plagiarism. But the Dropbox for it wasn't working and it said like, please contact your professor. So I screenshot that, emailed it to him and it's already like almost 7.30. So instead of waiting for him to respond to that, and then hopefully submitting it on time. I just attach it to the email, so hopefully he will take my assignment that way. My battery came in for my camera. I told you guys that I was ordering another battery, so that way whenever this one dies when I'm vlogging, I have like a backup. That's how I used to do it when I was filming on the G7X, but unfortunately, of course, they don't have the same battery, so I had to buy a second backup. And then from Sephora, I got some tanning drops for my face, just because whenever I tan with the tanning towels, I don't really, Put that on my face but i want my face to be tan like the rest of my body obviously these are the isle of paradise dark self tanning drops and you just put them in with your moisturizer and this makes your face tanner so really excited to try this because i always feel like my face is paler than the rest of my body um and i have to just like put so much bronzer on to like correct that and then the last thing i got is some more tele ties um i literally love these i received some in a pr package like months ago and i used them forever and was obsessed with them and i got another pack of the pink ones let me show you just these hair ties that don't pull on your hair and they have like this coil design you guys have seen them all over the place but i specifically like the tele ties brand because they really don't pull your hair and they go right back to their normal size and you can actually reheat these up um, with like a blow dryer you can put them in hot water and they will like get back to their size so if over time like this one's a little more stretched out than these two because i've been using it um so i ordered just another pack just so that i can put one in my purse and then just have some backups but they're so cute i just love i love the brand and so i bought some more since then i bought this pack and then this pack right here that i just got um since they sent me that pr package prettiest color ever and both of these packs that i just showed you guys are on amazon so i'll link them they are my favorite hair ties it's just like the best way to get a really spunky bun because i don't know something about those hair ties and i just love them i can't go back to normal hair ties that is it for new stuff i'm about to go pour myself a glass of wine and chad and i are having a little game night with sarah jennifer and a couple other friends and i'm really really looking forward to it like chad and i were talking all day that like we feel like we have real plans because we're getting on like a zoom call and we're doing some kind of cards against humanities thing um i don't really know what to expect because i haven't done it yet but jennifer said it's really fun so i'm really really excited Let's get out of here Let's come on geese was the funniest one geese was pretty damn funny it was oh my god it just is it just is it can't be explained wait 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 so who won the, the, some peace and quiet. Yeah, but who put that? Peace and quiet. So. Yeah, that's Jennifer. You guys can all f off. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to get muted. <laughs> wow, it's like two days later, and I already started a new vlog for today because it's a brand new week. But I forgot to do an outro for this. But really quick, before I end this vlog, I want to show you guys the final product of the three tier little cart thing that I had Chad spray paint for me. It actually turned out so good. It looks like a completely different cart. So I'm really happy with how it turned out. And now I'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog because it's probably really long at this point. And I don't even know how many days worth of content are in this vlog because I just feel like my days have just been all over the place like everyone else's. Thank you guys for watching though and continuing to support my channel. I hope you guys are staying safe. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.